So, hello everyone. I would like to welcome to all participants in this Cospace uh, Edu webinar, the first Cospace uh, webinar in Tunisia. I would like to welcome our honor guest, our ambassador, our teacher and student. I am with you, Hejer Mohamdi, Cospace Edu ambassador from Tunisia. And I am happy to moderate this webinar with my colleague Fatma Boaziz, ambassador also in Cospace EDU. So, please mute your microphone to hear the webinar. During this webinar, we will be happy to listen to Ms. Wide Drizgi, the founder of Initiative Teaching at Home. Then, our honor guest, Ms. Ahlem Ben Ali, the responsible of it winning in Tunisia. After that, we will welcome to Rachel Din Pot, ambassador from USA, and we will announce the winner of the global competition, My Dream Comes True in Postspace EDU. After that, Ambassador from different country will present for you their experience with Cospace EDU, especially in lockdown, like Miss Omnia Ismail from Egypt, Mr. Anis Amouri from Tunisia, Miss Marie-Eve Lapolis from Canada, Miss Elisabetta Nani from Italy, Miss Yasmin Jamal Zakout from Palestine, Ms. Bigona Kodisal from Spain, Mr. Mohammed uh, Al Mahmadi from Arabi Saudi, and finally, Mrs. Uh, Fatma Baziz from Tunisia. So now I will give the floor to Ms. Wida Drizgi. Uh, uh, hello, uh, I am happy to, uh, to be with you in this uh, webinar and uh, I am very excited uh, to see the work of uh, the winning uh, students in the competition. Uh, I am the founder of the educational initiative called uh, Teaching from Home. Uh, we trained the thousands uh, of edu uh, educators in uh, Tunisia and uh, abroad so as to facilitate their uh, understanding of the distant learning communication and uh, its learning process and uh, how to tie the 21st century skills and the uh, techniques pro properly. Uh, meantime, explaining to them uh, how to get access to some uh, tools of uh, distance learning, as well as how uh, to use it uh, in the teaching learning process, and uh, how to become uh, a Microsoft innov uh, innovative uh, educator. So, uh, 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 I give uh, uh, to uh, Mrs. Mrs. Heger. Thank you so much, Ms. Wieded. Yes, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Mm. Yes, Hejer. Okay, good. Thank you. Th thank you so much, Ms. Wieded. Uh, and now I give the floor to Ms. Ahlem Ben Ali. You are welcome. Thank you, Hejer. Thank you, and uh, I am uh, honored to give you an invitation to this special event where you will announce the winner in the Cospace AG competition, My Dream Comes True in Cospace AG. I would like to say it will... Ms. Ahlem, can you hear you? Yes, yes, can you hear me? Now, yes. Okay. So, uh, also, Hejer, I would like to uh, say thanks to it winning this great community 
because two years ago I participated in a learning event about ghost spaces with Fatma Baziz, Elisa Mouri and other uh, eTwinners. Also, many teachers in eTwinning uh, projects deal with the ghost spaces and uh, make uh, many activities with uh, their students how to make AR and VR and Magic Cube. There were uh, amazing activities with this. So again, congratulations for the winners, and I would like uh, to say for those who not win, thanks for your great work, and hope you uh, good luck in uh, next uh, competitions. Also, I would like to thank all organizers and trainers for uh, uh, their great effort to encourage, support, and uh, assist participants. I'm sure that we'll, uh, we will enjoy this uh, meeting and I am very excited also uh, to see uh, the work, the student work. Thank you again very much for all. Thank you, thank you so much, Ms. Ahlam, uh, Ben Ali, the twinning responsible. And now we will listen to uh, Rachel uh, Dinpoth, the Cospace Edu ambassador from USA. Hello there. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Awesome. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation to Fatima here to talk with all of you today. I love technology and that we can connect from all around the world. I think it's amazing. Um, I did, I cannot put anything into the chat, but I did send a link of a sample project and I didn't know if you wanted me to share my screen Know it or just yeah. talk about yes of course you will share your screen I will stop sharing one minute yes now you can share your screen necessarily work out the way that I want it to. And, all right, let me go here. It should be, perhaps. Okay, maybe you can see it now, right? <laughs> I think. Yes. Okay, yes. so um, we can just, just really quickly with one of the things I've loved using CoSpaces for several years, I think probably four at least now and from the time when I started I was not very good at it but I enjoyed working through it and learning from my students but then when with co-spaces they made it so that students could collaborate that's when I really saw so much potential for students to do more than just practice what they were learning I teach Spanish and I teach technology my students have been able to build their digital citizenship skills and build social emotional learning but also learn about global issues, we do project-based learning. So they're studying the sustainable development goals and they're trying to create a lot of different projects to kind of connect to a lot of the things that are happening in the world. And so now with our schools in the last couple of months not being open, obviously not being in that space, the nice thing is that we can all collaborate on a co-spaces project together from wherever we are. But for my students, a big part of what they're doing is being able to talk to each other while they're in that space. And so depending on what we use, I use Zoom, we can have students in small breakout rooms so they can at least have conversations while they're working on it. It's definitely an option that's out there. And just some really quick ideas. For my students that did this uh, most recently, not all students had access. And so that was kind of a problem for us in the last couple of months. So some of their work is still not yet completed. And so they decided that they would work on it over the summer since we're on summer break now. But these are just some of the ways that I've given them ideas to create something. Uh, maybe some of you have done something similar in your classes. I just like to open it up to give them an opportunity to create whatever it is that they want. And now I did share that link and I don't know if somebody can put that one in the chat because I think if I would open up a different window, it may not open it. But the one that I got, <laughs> we'll see here, from one of the students was kind of fun that they were just taking their experience and talking about 
what it was like to be at home. And so the example that I shared, and if anybody wants to take a look at that, they just went through and had fun creating of what it was like to be at home, frustrations, their animals, just trying all the different different you know things that they could add into it, uh, venturing outside and then moving through the city and, and anybody, if they're looking at the link, they can kind of move around, not trying to give anybody any dizziness, but adding more to it. So I know the student that was creating this, I made a copy. They've been continuing to add more to it, adding masks, making it really an authentic representation of what they're experiencing, um, but then also having fun with it when they're going through from being home to moving outside and just seeing what they can add in to their own scene. So. The best thing I love about it is that it does expose our students to these emerging technologies. Uh, it gets them to build their skills at a level they're comfortable with. So if they want to just create something like this and put text or speech and just do very basic, or if they want to go in and do some coding. I've also had students who really like using the Merge Cube, and I just leave it open to them because I just think it's a great opportunity for them to explore and find out what they're interested in. And for me to have fun asking them, why is the raccoon so big? Or what are you trying to say in this scene? So just a quick example to share. Stop sharing there, but I don't know if anybody else had the opportunity to open that or not, but it's just, it's really fun to see what the students come up with and create. And I can't wait to see what some of the students here have created as well. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Rachel. We are happy to see your experience with the Cospace EDU. And uh, we will be happy also uh, if, you, if you can share your links in our groups, uh, Tunisian group uh, called Mindari and Sherek Bafkari. That means from my home, I can share my uh, opinion. Uh, we will uh, send for you the link of the groups. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are welcome. And now, I think that our student wait this moment to see the result of the global competition, My Dream Comes True in Cospace EDU. We are happy to arrange this um, this competition. I am Hejom Hamdi with uh, Ms. Wida Drizgi, Ms. Fatma Baziz, and Mr. Anis Amouri. We arranged uh, this uh, competition to share awareness about uh, Cospace EDU in Tunisia and uh, in different uh, countries. So during this uh, this uh, competition, we uh, our subject was how can student uh, see his country in education, health and environment uh, in uh, 2030. So uh, participant can choose just one goal to talk about or the three goals and create his dream about his country in co-space uh, edu. Uh, the planning of uh, this competition uh, is uh, uh, in uh, 12 uh, to uh, 18 uh, June, uh, the participant uh, did the inscription. Then uh, they had uh, two days for training session. After that, they had uh, five days to create their uh, course spaces. And uh, after two sessions uh, of uh, selection, uh, 20 students uh, are finalists. And they, par and they presented their work the 24th June uh, in front of jury. And today we will announce, uh, announce uh, the three winners. Uh, we are so happy that more than 160 participants are in our competition between teacher and student. The competition is for student, but Teachers also are welcome to learn about co-space. Many countries participa participated, like Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, uh, also Egypt, Qatar, India, uh, Syria, Palestine, and uh, Georgia. And students in uh, this competition uh, had uh, different skills. Uh, about 60% uh, of students worked before in co-space edu. Uh, and 40% uh, of students 
uh, worked in co-space for the first time and they did amazing work. So that uh, we did uh, a training session for the beginner, uh, for uh, those students. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I am happy to, to share with you the training session uh, by Yasmin Jamal Zakout from Palestine. Uh, the first training session was in Arabic language. The second uh, was in English language uh, with uh, Omnia Ismail from Egypt and Noura Trabelsi from uh, Tunisia. And the third was in French language uh, with my colleague Fatma uh, Barziz. Uh, and for those students uh, who hasn't uh, uh, account in Cospace Edu, I create for them a class. Uh, I named this class Global Competition. They uh, subscribe in this class uh, and they work it in. And uh, we had more than uh, 50, uh, 50 students who, um, who worked in this competition. Uh, we did, uh, we did the two sessions to select the best work. And uh, after that, uh, by uh, 24 June last night, for three hours, the best, uh, the best student uh, presented their works in front of a jury. Our jury are Badria Tamari from Syria, Omnia Ismail from Egypt, Yasmin Zakout from Palestine, and the head of jury is Anissa Amouri from Tunisia. Uh, we, 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 saw, uh, we see the, these works, all works, all 20 works are amazing. I would like to thank all students, you can see their works uh, in those uh, pictures and we will share the link of 20 works in our groups and uh, in Cospace Edu community groups. Uh, so I would like to thank Marawan Mohammed, Ruqayya Ibrahim, Rinad Sharif, Yusuf Islam, Mohammed Shahad, also Adham Lithi, uh, Jana Yahya, uh, Mahmoud Khalid, Salma Hilal, Malek Sharif. Now you can see just photo, but we will share the links for uh, co-spaces. Uh, also, Hala, uh, Hala Maria, uh, sorry, Wala Sghayir, Emi Sharif, Isra Abdullah, Omnia Sami. They did a very amazing work. They used it coding. They used it their uh, voices also in uh, in course spaces. They uh, talk about education in future, about uh, health, about uh, uh, nature. And the last five uh, students were uh, Mirna Semi, Salma Mtir, Ayat Tunsi, Sarah Mtir, and uh, Mariam Ayat. So I would like to thank all student you are all winner with us uh, and if you if you are not from the three uh, winner uh, you have all 20 student certificate of uh, appreciation check your email you have uh, like this uh, certificate and we would like that you always use cospace edu and share with us your works and now we will announce uh, the winner and uh, personally I uh, I am so happy from this experience to share uh, awareness about co-space to, to collaborate with many teacher and many uh, student in this uh, very helpful platform so uh, I will give the floor to our head of jury Mr. Anis hello Hello, Mr. Anis. So you will announce uh, the third place of this uh, competition. Uh, the, uh, the third place come uh, come to two winners, uh, Mariam Ayed from uh, Tunisia and Marwan Abdesamia uh, from Egypt. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Anis. So Mariam Ayed in the third place, and this is her work. Mariam, are you with us, Mariam? I'm here, hello. Hello, so can you give us one word? Are you happy for, for your place? 
So good job, Mariam. Mariam create for us a school in the nature. It is a very, very beautiful school. Thank you so much, Mariam. Okay, thank you. And the, the third place also was uh, with uh, Mr. Marawan Abdesamir. Marawan, are you here with us? Marawan? Uh, I think he is absent. So Marawan uh, did a difference between uh, nature before uh, coronavirus and after coronavirus uh, to show the importance of yes, <laughs> we applaud. Yes, we applaud. So he did a very organized work and uh, to show us the importance of uh, cleaning of uh, environment. Uh, and uh, maybe Miss Lamis Gouda can speak uh, in the place of Marawan. Miss Lamis. Uh, we are very happy that Marawan won the, the third place. And now uh, Marawan will speak via my phone. Yes, Marawan. Yes, Marawan. Uh, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Marwan. I'm Marwan Mohammed. Uh, uh, I make the project uh, of the environmental air pollution. Uh, after and for uh, 2020. Great job. Are you happy, Marwan, from your place? Are you happy? Congratulations, Marwan. Are you happy, Marwan? Uh, yes, I'm so happy to uh, win the, uh, in third place. Okay, thank you so much, Marawan. Congratulations. Now, Mr. Enis. Uh, we have no time, but we will share your your we will share your co space in many groups, Marawan. Thank you so much. The second place, Mr. Enis. Uh, the second place uh, go uh, to any sheriff from Egypt. Any sheriff. Congratulations, Amy. Congratulations. Amy, are you with us, Amy Sheriff? No, Amy. Yeah. Yes, congratulations. Program. Shukran on Arabic. Uh, thank you in English. So, uh, what did you use, uh, Amy? Uh, what is this teacher? Can you speak about this teacher in blue? And the idea, the idea. Blue brown yeah. teacher. The smart board. Yeah. So, Amy used the oh. hologram. Uh, so, so uh, student. Uh, learn at home, uh, they choose their uh, coach or their teacher and the teacher will appear in hologram and uh, in a smart board. This is a very good idea. So we will disappear teacher as teacher and uh, we will be a hologram teacher. Very good idea, Amy. Congratulations uh, again. Thank you, very happy. Yes. And, Great and, job, Amy. Great job. Yes, yes, Mr. Anis. A very fantastic idea, creative idea. And now the first place. The first place goes go to Hala Maria from Syria. Congratulations, Hala. Hala is with us. I will, uh, so I take a video for the work of Hala. Hala, are you with us? 
خلوا الاحمر يس يو سبيك لو سمحت عربي اوكي 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 سبيك عربي اي ويل ترانسليت نعم نعم تفضلي هلا شكرا جزيلا لكم احسنتي وانا سعيدة بمعرفتك شكرا لكم لو تحدثينا عن عملك قليلا عملي يتحدث عن فتاة فتاة سورية مهجرة من بلدها من 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 محافظتها حلب ترى على شاشة التلفاز الدمار الدمار الذي حل بوطنها بمشفاها بحديقتها بكل الأرجاء ف ف فتبكي وتبكي تبكي بصمت طبعا فتنام وتحلم بوطنها تحلم بوطنها تحلم بمدرستها التي التي يتعلمون بها كل شيء مثل الكافيه مثل هنا معرض معرض للديناصورات ادخل ادخل هل هو جميل معرضي؟ نعم برافو يا حلا وه... شكرا لك تفضل تفضل على المعرض هل جميل رسومات الطلاب؟ نعم أحسنتي نعم نحن السوريين مبدعون <تصفيق> هنا هنا صف لمواكبة التكنولوجيا يوجد لدي أحدث وهنا مشفى الكندي المحطم كان وهذا من الداخل يوجد الحمامات وغرفة الممرضين وغرف الأطباء والكافية وغرفة الولادة وغرفة العناية المشددة وغرفة نقل الدم أيضا تفضل تفضل إلى الكافية وأحدث الأجهزة بالعالم تفضل هل أشرح لكم هذا المشهد؟ تفضلي الطبيب السوري بارع يعالج المرضى والصحاء معا هنا المصانع على جوانب المدينة هنا محمية طبيعية هل جميل هو الدلفين؟ نعم أحسنتي تفضل إلى الدبابة <تصفيق> هل جميل هو الدلفين؟ نعم هي حديقة متكاملة أحسنتي برافو نعم شكرا لك هل تحب الفيلة؟ برافو على العمل أحسنتي في جمع جميع هذه الحيوانات برافو شكرا لك استاذ ممكن اقول لسان حلا تفضل انا بحييكي يا حلا انا بحييكي انا امي من مصر انت تستحقي فعلا من المركز الاول وبصراحة احنا تعلمنا منك الشغل الكتير اللي انت عملتيه ده وانا بشكرك كتير وكل وكل رفقات اللي ربحوا وبارك لكل رفقاتي وانا اود ان اشكركم 
على هذه الروح روح التعاون الروح الرياضية كيف أن أنكم تشكرون بعضكم البعض وهذه هي الروح الحقيقية روح التلاميذ وروح التعاون بينهم و الذي لم يفز يهنئ الفائز او 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 هذا هي هذا التعاون بصراحه تحيه شكر لجميع المشاركين برافو اعمال قيمه جدا <تصفيق> Okay, yes. Thank you so much, Hala. Thank you, Amy. So, Amy, the second place, uh, she congratulates the first place, Hala. Hala is a Syrian girl. Uh, she has a war in her country. She has not school, hospital, and nature. So, she dreams about a very beautiful school, a uh, hospital, and a nature to protect animals. So, I, um, uh, I think... Uh, that uh, the job or the work of Hala is uh, amazing and uh, I congratulate uh, again the work of uh, Hala. So now... Madam. Yeah? Madam, we can say something to Hala. Mariam? Yes, we can say something to Hala. Yes. And we can say وكمل في الخدمة متاعك ومبروك وفرحت لك برشا وشكرا Thank you, thank you so much, Mariam. Hala, all students, you are amazing and your work are uh, so beautiful. You will share your experience with uh, other students. So uh, this is our competition. Uh, I hope that you appreciate uh, this uh, initiative from Tunisia. And now I will leave uh, the floor to our ambassador from Egypt, Omnia Ismail. Miss Omnia. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, you will share your screen? Can you hear me? Yes. And yeah, uh, no, I'm not going to share my screen. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy to that I have been invited to be a jury in this competition. Uh, congratulations for everyone. Uh, you really deserve it. Uh, congratulations, Hala, Amy, and Marwan, and Marim, I think. Uh, yes. All of them, yes, all of them, they, ha uh, they have they used uh, the 21st century skills and they have unleashed their creativity. I'm, I'm very happy to, that I have seen how creative they are, uh, how they could they visualize their dreams in cold spaces and use their critical thinking and uh, they use the coding and the, uh, they uploaded some items. They used the recording their voices and their uh, family members' voices and adding uh, lots of features to uh, visualize their dreams and telling us that uh, how they think the future will be. I'm very happy that to our children here in, uh, in Arab countries, they're having their still have a dream. Uh, it's very important to have a dream and to protect it and to share it with others. They shared their dreams with us and they give us hope that the future will be better than now. Uh, as you can see, I hope next time we will have uh, a group. As you can see, uh, children learn from each other. I hope next competition will be a group work between different children from different countries. I think they will learn more and more. Uh, yesterday, really, I was impressed with their uh, creativity. Uh, each one, each child who uh, participates in this competition, they have added something to me. I really learned from them, learned something, uh, how they think uh, in the future. How uh, how it will look like, even who thinks that the future uh, that their school should be in nature. Uh, uh, there is the school has no walls. I like their ideas. Uh, thank you all for your initiatives and for your uh, organization. 
Thank you very much, Omnia. You're welcome. Uh, so uh, thank you everyone for being uh, there with us uh, to learn together about virtual reality, uh, augmented reality and Merge Cube. I am very happy to organize this event, this webinar with my colleagues Hajar and Anis under the Teaching at Home Initiative with our friend with Edreski. Uh, so uh, I want uh, also to congr congratulate all winners and uh, also uh, thanks uh, the all uh, guest speakers here, Madame Ahlem Ben Ali and um, um, Mrs. Rachel from USA and uh, all uh, the guest speakers. So uh, I will uh, continue to moderate uh, our webinar and now I will give the floor to, uh, uh, to um, uh, Mr. Anis uh, to present uh, his experience uh, in uh, the Cospaces Edu platform. Thank you, dear Fatma. I want uh, to share my my screen. Thank you. Uh, we organized uh, a meeting between uh, Taib Mhiri high school students and uh, Ali Nouri college students under uh, the supervision of teachers uh, Anis Amouri and Fatma Boaziz to explain uh, the Edu Spaces platform to prepare a 3D activity on the COVID-19 uh, virus. This is uh, a photo of our meeting. And uh, the, the, this is the design of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, we, we do uh, for scene. Uh, this is a scenario like a, a film uh, with the second and the three, three. And four, please, Fatma. Can you play the our work, please? Why can't I leave the house to play outside? TV wants to scare us. Coronavirus is a fake. <laughs> Oh, what a sunny day. I am happy to play outside. Hi, boy. What are you doing outside? It's forbidden to stay out. You can be sick by coronavirus. Don't worry. I would go home after playing. I say you should go home now. Oh, I got fever. I can't breathe. I'm sick. Sorry, ma'am. I am afraid that your child has the symptoms of the new virus, COVID-19. Oh, I'm so happy that you have recovered. I told you to not leave home many times but you you didn't take my advice i am so sorry i learned a valuable lesson people should stay at home in lockdown and take the necessary precautions
Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Anis. Uh, so uh, uh, now I will give the floor to uh, Mary Eve La Police from Canada. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi, Haja. Welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me to this webinar and uh, congratulations to all the winners. You've you made great stuff with CoSpaces EDU. And I hope uh, everybody's going to keep on creating with it because it's a wonderful tool that I love to use with my students also. Thank you very much, Mary Eve. I will share my uh, presentation. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, creating for the Merge Cube in the art class because uh, I'm an art teacher. I've been uh, teaching at middle and high school levels for over 12 years. Um, I also use a lot of gamification to motivate my students in class and CoSpaces is fun to uh, use in gamification also. I uh, do a lot of research and experimentations with different AR and VR tools. Those are really my specialties. I love using all kinds of augmented and virtual reality tools with my students. I'm a Merge VR ambassador, but I'm also a CoSpaces EDU ambassador. I created the lesson plans for them. I trained educators. I translated documents in French, and I made over 30 tutorial videos on YouTube uh, re regarding CoSpaces EDU, and those tutorial videos are in French. So it helps all the Francophone community use that wonderful tool. Uh, the project I'm talking to you about today is called 3D Kandinsky Art in a Cube. The lesson plan is available on the CoSpaces EDU website. Um, the general idea was to interpret one of Kandinsky's abstract artwork, but in 3D, and to use animations also to make it interactive. So globally, the tasks that were given to the students were first to choose one of the artworks that I gave them for uh, one of the options I gave them, and place that artwork next to the cube so they could try to reinterpret the artwork with the cube. Then they had to make decisions on the shapes that they would use, the shades and tints that they would use, the depths. So if they see a, a square in the in the artwork, is the square and a, a cube? Does it have the is, does it have width and depth? And also how to place the different elements in the cube? Are they closer? Are they closer to the viewer or further from the viewer? So they had to make decisions on that. And um, also animate some objects and some students added sound also to their um, to their creations. I gave them two examples. The first version was with the art uh, the artwork created inside of the merge cube. The second version, the second example was the the merge cube was part of the artwork. So the merge cube was really one of the one of the artwork, one of the spaces in the artwork. Here are a few examples of what my students created. You can see uh, all my students' creations on YouTube. Uh, I made a playlist uh, just of their artwork. There's over uh, 50, 60 or something uh, different projects. So even if the students chose the same artwork, um, they all had different interpretations because they had to choose where they would place the objects and what shapes they would use to recreate. So it made very, very different projects and with the interactivity that they added, it was a very, very fun project to do with them. And they loved the fact that they could hold their creation in their hand and actually play around with it. So the main learning gains of this project was of course, creativity, uh, it really developed their creativity skills and their problem solving skills because to, to be able to reinterpret the artwork chosen, they had to use different building blocks and sometimes it wasn't very easy. So they had to be very creative to solve those problems. 
They also learned the valuable coding skills because they had to animate the objects using paths to make objects moves along, move along paths, etc. So they learned a little bit about programming. And some, uh, some students worked in teams on their projects, so they had to collaborate and make decisions together and, um, and learn how to communicate uh, efficiently together to be able to get their point across. So that's it. Thank you very much. And I hope this project uh, uh, inspires you to create something similar. And you could, of course, get the lesson plan on, um, on, uh, on the CoSpaces uh, EDU website. Thank you very much, uh, Mary Eve, and uh, amazing work uh, for your students. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Uh, now uh, I will give the floor to uh, Elisabetta Nani from Italy. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. Hi. Greetings. Greetings from Italy. <laughs> Thank you. I am so ex excited uh, to, um, uh, to see your works uh, and um, you are a, a very good teacher, a perfect teacher. I got excited to see the, the works of your students. Uh, um, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful work. Um, well, I'm share my, <clears throat> my desktop. moment please okay do you know okay okay it's okay uh, well i <clears throat> i uh, work with my students uh, during lockdown uh, i am, I am uh, a music teacher and uh, uh, about uh, yeah, ambassador to space, ambassador merge, and uh, I'm working on integrating co space edu in my school's music curriculum um, because uh, uh, my students uh, approach it uh, to a ancient world, uh, um, a distant world, uh, with ancient instruments because they, in the little group, they choose an ancient musical instrument. Um, for example, this is uh, salterio or viola or float, and uh, they um, uh, take the picture from Europeana, uh, is a virtual museum um, of a um, European museum, and uh, they um, take the picture, they remove uh, background and uh, uh, created um, this uh, this picture in a magic cube and uh, in space. And for example, uh, this is without without background and, uh, and uh, this is the first picture. Then, uh, then the second uh, the second picture and they uh, they choose uh, the instrument and they uh, created the the, um, the scene with uh, uh, co blocks and the co blocks is, is very important for uh, focal space um, yeah, for me um then <laughs> why co-space pseudo is important in the school it is the way to engage students uh, students um, in distance learning and uh, uh, in the school uh, develop uh, to develop creativity uh, to improve problem solving to work in a team because uh, um, we worked in a little group in distance learning and uh, develop skills of computational thinking with uh, with co blocks, and so I am, now I am uh, look for partner for a project retweening. And so, uh, if you want to participate to my project, I am very enjoy um, to whole group the e twinning. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for all staff and congratulations for uh, your work. Thanks. Thank you very much, Elisabetta, and nice to meet you, my friend. 
so uh, now I will give the floor to uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Yasmin Jamel Zakut from uh, Palestine. I'm here. Okay. <clears throat> Congratulations for all uh, winners. <clears throat> I'm Yasmin Jamal Zakut uh, from Palestine. I'm a lecturer and researcher in the field of uh, educational uh, technology and a member of many educational uh, technological uh, institutions. I would like uh, at the outset to, to thank Mr. Ha uh, Ms. Hajar and Professor Widad, Mr. Anis, and all teachers from Tunis uh, for this uh, distinct, uh, distinct uh, organization of the competition and uh, welcome for uh, and welcome uh, all attenders, uh, each in uh, his name and title. I will tell you a little about my experience in the Arabization of the Coast Base platform. It was a great experience. <coughs> it was a great experience in the term, in terms of uh, convention. Um, <coughs> convention uh, the board of direct, uh, directors. Uh, of the importance uh, of the Arabic language, especially uh, for audience uh, from the Middle East. Uh, for four months, uh, for four months, I worked uh, <coughs> from the translation se uh, session of the platform to make the platform speak in Arabic. Uh, and I also have many forms uh, that I have uh, prepared. You can view uh, view it uh, through uh, the links uh, <coughs> uh, listed in the platform report about me last month. Thank you all. Yes, it's me. Yeah. It's me? Yes. Um. <clears throat> I'm finished. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I will continue with uh, now Bigona. Bigona from Spain. Hi, Let's see. Uh, could you see? Uh, Begona, your your voice it it's no, isn't uh, clear. You hear uh, Begona, uh, dear friends? The voice is, isn't clear. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to... Good afternoon. It's a pleasure for me to be with you, with you all this afternoon. Congrats for the competition, for the organization, and the great club for the winners and the participants. I would like to introduce uh, how we use virtual reality at the school and especially how we use the Code Spaces platform. I introduce you the two ways in which 
Uh, we work with space, the code club, the science club, and a ordinary class. The science club runs every day for students a day and is attended by students on a voluntary Migona. basis. Migona. Yes. Your screen is not shared. Okay. Now, hello. Could you see my screen now? No. no. Uh, Mohammed. I see the screen of Mohammed. Hello. Uh, please uh, stop sharing uh, for uh, for uh, our friend Bigona to share uh, their, uh, their screen. Uh, sorry, uh, speak English. Uh... Uh, 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 Mr. Mohammed, Mr. I'm going to try again. Okay. And uh, if not, I can tell you uh, some things about how we use virtual reality, and perhaps I can share with you my presentations, and uh, you can share the presentation to the old participants. Um, Well, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to speak about uh, the two um, how we uh, work with co spaces at the same group and at the, at the ordinary class. Um, in the science club, the study uh, students work with cards with different challenges, different levels of difficulty. Challenges to meet spaces. Second level, following challenges. And third level, complete projects. Interactive art, video games, breakout games, or match cube games. At class, our students are from 8 to 12 years old. We work with spaces using a project-based methodology. It's a work that involves several subjects, uh, uh, science, languages, math, and so on. Our projects are created in 360 environments with 360 photography and we match cube. Uh, I wanted to share with you a simulation an animated, animated story and a uh, room, but uh, it's impossible for me at the moment. Uh, I share with you the presentation and you can see this project. At the end, uh, I would look, uh, I would like to present our Erasmus Plus uh, K229 project working through the memory with immersive technologies. This project uh, that we coordinate with uh, from Italy and Portugal. It's a project based on the heritage. 
and the green work with virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and heritage. Some of the projects of our students uh, are games uh, about heritage with Mercure, virtual tours to show the school or the city, or into games about heritage. And um, this is all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bigona. Uh, now uh, I will uh, give the floor to uh, Mr. Mohammed El Mahmadi from uh, Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, hi, this uh, is Mohammed El Mahmadi from Saudi Arabia. Welcome to. Yes. Accountly, uh, I am science teacher uh, elementary school. My students, uh, they between, are between uh, 7 to 11 years old. I am broadly technical, uh, Tyrner Microsoft expert. Micro, Microsoft uh, Tyrner, a course based ambassador in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, in their uh, technology, with education, uh, 21 country learning skills. Proudly use uh, argument directly my classes, uh, my uh, with my students, use 3D virtual uh, reality classes, 3D and the Merig Cube. It it uh, mix uh, it max it max uh, the subject uh, so say uh, for uh, them they enjoy uh, augmented reality virtual reality is uh, surface atlas uh, for giving in uh, in uh, my classes uh, and. Uh, 3D virtual and uh, Merig Cube. Uh, share uh, share link. Teacher uh, Fatma. Uh, you you can share uh, your presentation, Mr. Muhammad. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, course base. Uh, course base and student. Share and uh, <clears throat> uh, photo to your students. Uh, share. Teacher Fatma. A student yes. share. Uh, photo student. A few, a few share. No, uh, I can't uh, see your pre uh, your uh, photos. Uh, the video, the video, and uh, students play uh, the video. Yes, yes. Oh. I can see it yet now. Okay, the student uh, work uh, great, uh, cost base. Mary Cube, mm -hmm. any student? Uh, six old, uh, se se uh, seven years, eight years uh, student education. Thank you very much, uh, teacher. Thank you. The finish end. Okay. Uh, please stop sharing, uh, Mr. Thank Muhammad. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, uh, all the guest Hello. speakers. I am so honored uh, 
to uh, to organize to be organizers from uh, for this webinar with uh, my uh, colleagues Hajar and Anis and we did and now uh, to conclude uh, I will also share my experience and some activities and the projects carried out by my students so I uh, share my screen for you you can see uh, my presentation Hajar uh no yes no, no yes, sorry, it's okay okay thank you very much uh, i introduce myself i am fatma boaziz computer science teacher in ali nuri prep school from tunisia i am mie expert in my trainer i am a winner i am uh, also co spaces edu ambassador i am flip grid ambassador wakelet ambassador and teach is dg's ambassador so uh, I will introduce you in this presentation uh, co spaces edu in my classroom and in the COVID-19 period. So uh, co spaces edu is a very interesting platform for my students because they find the freedom of their imagination, creativity and the, all sk the skills of the 21th century. So with CoSpaces Edu, my students made 3D animations, collaborative stories and merge cube in several projects. Uh, I will uh, present you four experience where, where uh, my students have used CoSpaces Edu platform. First, uh, in the each winning project, Code Race. Uh, second, global project history blocks, and third, my personal project of the Microsoft Innovative Teachers Competition Teaching Humanity, and uh, the fourth uh, project is a twinning project, also uh, 30, uh, 360 big European solar tour. So I began for uh, with uh, the first a twinning project uh, called Race. Uh, so uh, we are uh, inside uh, uh, of the years it winning main theme to work in these issues. We start with the Safer Internet Day 2019 and we have brainstorming and web search on the concepts of democracy, democratic, democratic school participation and we are inspired a story scenario to work collaboratively in virtual reality with CoSpaces Edu platform. In this activity, we worked three classes together, a class from Greece and a class from Sfax with my friend Iman Taktak and my class. So, I uh, and, uh, pass in uh, our global project history blocks. Uh, so, the history block project is uh, an answer to the hundreds of uh, historical uh, Uh, destroyed in war zones. Uh, with it, teachers can work together uh, with their students to rebuild, restore, and preserve the world heritage sites that have been brought down by the conflicts. I worked in this project with my Tunisian partner, Ed Sakuri, on Minecraft Education Edition and Those Spaces Edu platform. The students built their uh, archaeological sites with Minecraft, then they export the constructions and modify the extensions of 3D objects with 3D builder and finally import them with co-spaces edu and they create a merge group with, uh, which present them in uh, ER. Uh, here their constructions are in their hands. The third project is uh, my personal project is uh, called uh, Teaching Home. Humanity. In this project, my students uh, have sought solutions in the virtual world for the social problems grouped in the first five sustainable development goals, which are now poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education and gender equality. They work 3D animations and merge group. I created working groups for my students to work collaboratively on the sustainable development goals they have chosen. The last project is the e winning project uh, 360 big European solar tour. So in this project, in this project uh, which uh, is based on gamification of uh, uh, 
uh, to the scale of the solar system with uh, 360 uh, degree panoramic uh, photographs and uh, interconnecting key uh, competences in uh, this uh, transdisciplinary collaborative project. My students have chosen to work on the two thinking and co-spaces edu tools. Also, the students learned a lot uh, through Merge Cubes mobile applications on the solar system. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is my presentation. Um, I hope uh, you like it. Now, yes, I uh, you your attention. Thank you for your attention. And now is the time of your questions. Uh, I uh, give the floor of my for my uh, friend uh, Hazer. Hazer. Yes, yes, thank you so much, Fatma. Uh, it was amazing your job with Cospace. We worked always with, Co with the Cospace in eTwinning project, on uh, Microsoft project also. And uh, I advise all teachers to use this wonderful tool. So, uh, have you a question, please? Their participant, their teacher? We wait for a question. And we will be uh, happy. Yeah, we will be happy also uh, to uh, to um, to help uh, every teacher and every student who would like to uh, use Cospace Edu in his classroom. We are here. We are ambassador because uh, we want to help every teacher. And uh, by the final of this uh, webinar, I would like to congratulate uh, uh, again uh, Hala Maria from uh, Syria. Uh, I would like to listen uh, our ambassador, uh, Begona, Elizabeth, um, Omnia, Yasmin. Uh, Mohammed, Rachel, if uh, she is with us, Miss Ahlem also, Miss Widad. What, what do you think about the work of Hala? Madam Ahlem. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So uh, again, congratulations, Hala. Amazing work with the uh, creativity and uh, as I say, usual, uh, our students surprise us with their creativity uh, and uh, their amazing work. So great work, Hala. Uh, thank you very much for you, for all teachers who present their work. Uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, all works. Uh, it's amazing, really. Thank you, Hajar, for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you too, Ms. Ahlem. You encourage your for your encouragement. Thank you. You deserve it. <laughs> yeah, Miss Bigona, are you with us? Assalamu alaikum, uh, uh, Yes. Bon, uh, وأهان أيضا الأخت بدرية أنها تنبهت yes. بفوز هذه الممتعة الصغيرة حقيقة مشروع رائد فكرتك جيدة جدا أهنئك هذا على هذا المشروع مسابقة إن شاء الله نتمنى هي المسابقة الأولى في العالم العربي كذلك في العالم هي التأسيس احنا من هذا من هذا المنبر نود ان تكون هذه التجربة في النسخة الثانية تكون اكثر وتلقى yes miss ويدات you continue? Uh, yes. Then, you could enter the first one, and then you can enter the second one.
Okay, thank you, Ms. Widet. So, Ms. Widet, the founder of Teaching at Home Initiatives, she congratulates Hala because she is a very creative student. She is the student of Badriya Tamari from Syria, and um, this is the first. Uh, co uh, competition in uh, Arabic uh, um, in Arabic uh, countries, and uh, she would like to uh, to do more competition to have more students in uh, using Cospace uh, Edu. Thank you so much, Miss Widet. Uh, إذن هذا هو uh, وأشجعك على هذه الفكرة خاصة هاجر وأهن uh, سفراء uh, تونس uh, بهذا العمل uh, التكاملي uh, ضمن مبادرة uh, من دار قري صغاري uh, نحن فريق واحد uh, وأتمنى أن يتضاعف عدد السفراء uh, بتونس آه ونتمنى أن تعم هذه التجربة آه على كامل بلدان آه العالم وشكرا لكم ومرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في آه في دارنا آه من دار قريص غارش yeah, thank you so much Miss Widad Miss Widad uh, we have a very big house calling Mindari in Qarri Sgari in Arabic. That's mean teaching uh, from home or teaching at home. Uh, and uh, she would like that uh, Tunisian teacher, Arabic teacher, uh, become more and more ambassador in Cospace Edu platform. Thank you so much for this. Uh, maybe I uh, will give the floor to Miss Badria. Hala is your student. Congratulations. <laughs> نعم يسعد مساكم شكرا لكم ولجهودكم الرائعه الف مبروك لجميع الطلاب المشاركين لجهودهم الرائعه وتميز تصاميمهم يعني كل طالب كان في له فكره معينه مميزه وكل طالب كان تصميمه في له شيء من الجماليه ومن الفكره اللي بتعبر عن اهداف التنميه المستدامه فأنا بشكر كل الطلاب المشاركين لأني بالفعل كان لقاء ولقاء يعني فعالية مميزة جدا شكرا لطالبتي حلا ماريا أنا فخورة فيك كثير يا حلا وبلدك سوريا فخورة فيك كثير وسعيدة كثير كثير إني قدرتي توصلي وجع كل سوري وحلم كل سوري وإن شاء الله بيتحقق حلمك يا رب طبعا حلم حلا كان بال2030 إنه بلدها تكون من بين البلاد اللي حققت أهداف التنمية المستدامة وإن شاء الله بجهودك وجهود برجع بقول شكرا لكم وإن شاء الله الفعالية بتتوسع أكثر وأكثر وبتصبح المنافسه لطلابنا مع العالميين بكل انحاء العالم شكرا للمدرب ومحبتي لكم شكرا حبيبتي انا فخوره فيك كثير يا حلا كثير كثير الله يحميك وانا فخوره فيك كثير وي ار براود اوف يو حلا يو ار ان اكسلنت ستودنت ثانك Thank you so much, Miss Badria. Thank you, and you are welcome with us always. Uh, I see Mohammed Khalil want to speak. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, welcome, Mohammed Khalil. You are from Tunisia. Yes. Yes. Uh, Isra, yes, Isra is with us in the competition and she did amazing work, very beautiful work. Uh, Isra, you have a certificate? Yes, ma'am. So, what do you want to say, Isra? Yes, of course, you speak in Arabic, yes. Good, Isra. So, Isra, 
congratulate to Hala uh, and uh, she is very happy for this experience of competition. I said to Isra, to Hala, to all students, continue uh, using Cospace Edu and the next competition, uh, I would like to see more students. Uh, so Isra, wasi lil amal ala Cospace wa inshallah fil musabaqa al-taliya tafuzin bil martab al Thank you. Yes, you. Yes, of course, you will work, and you will be the winner next time. Inshallah. 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 So, would like to to speak now? What? Uh, who next would, would like to speak? So thank you so much, dear participant, dear teacher. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Miss Lamis Gouda, Miss Rasha Abdel Aziz, uh, the Egyptian trainer. Uh, I congratulate to their student, Amy and Marawan also. Uh, and I would like to thank my colleague, Aida Marabit, for uh, their student, Mariam Ayad. She is an excellent student in Tunisia. And uh, why not those winners will be the trainer the young trainer of Cospace for their uh, colleague in the classroom. Thank you so much. Uh, inshallah, uh, we meet in another webinar of uh, about Cospace. Sorry, about Cospace, and uh, we will do another competition. Shukran, Aida, for your wonderful effort and your wonderful effort. Shukran to all the participants. Shukran. لل... للمنسقة العزيزة جدا الأستاذ زويدار وإن شاء الله تألقكم وتميزكم دائم بإذن الله ودمتم بألف خير Thank you, thank you so much dear participant their teacher and the big thanks yes big thanks to miss Wida Rizgi because she encouraged me she encouraged all uh, ambassador in teaching at home uh, to do project uh, to do competition thank you so much uh, and uh, I say goodbye for all teacher for all participant have a nice night goodbye, goodbye. 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 Thank you, Ms. Hagan. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, Big Gunafa. Thank you.